What up YouTube, your boy the Flying Spinner here. Today we have a model airport update and as you can tell, UK version. Um, so, look how busy it is. There's so much going on. Um, it's, well, we'll see all, all stations go really for the Christmas period. Um, this update is based on, I believe a Friday or Thursday, around, uh, around midday. So there's a bit of the morning rush still going on with the wide bodies. Um, quite a lot of the old short haul still coming in and going and i chose this time because it's quiet um there's a few customs i wanted to get in the in the model well in the update um and this is kind of the best time to get them all in um and also it pretty much means well as you can see near enough every single stand is um is taken or there's an aircraft waiting to go onto the stand so it's a very busy time um and yeah, it just kind of fills it out a bit. So um, as I said, there's a few customs on here, which I'm sure you'll be able to pick out. Um, I'll cover each one kind of as we pass them. Uh, a few of them are for sale. So uh, yeah, we'll get into that when the time arrives. Um, but yeah, let's uh, crack on and uh, hopefully you enjoy. So yeah, it's um, runway 05 in use. As a, as a, what way is that? Easterly wind, or is it westerly? whichever way it's going it's going towards the west um so yeah zero five in use which is kind of rare normally two threes the run arriving runway um but zero five is the one today so they're all taxiing taxiing out as such rather than taxiing in so just just departing of course a questionable flight path um but that's just how the stand sits we have the Aer Lingus A320 from Gemini. This is heading into, well, heading out to Dublin. We got the Aegean A320 Neo. This aircraft's heading to Athens. I'm trying to get that in the schedule because it's um, sometimes it comes in at a really random time of like one o'clock in the morning, uh, which of course doesn't really suit most updates. I'm going to just change it to two times. Works a little bit better. Just on remote stand, uh, quite a long turnaround. We've got the JetBlue A321. Uh, this aircraft is the JFK service. So yeah, that's on the ground for a while. Um, there is a morning Boston service um, that JetBlue operate. And it's really weird having a JetBlue aircraft from the UK airport. And it is weird kind of watching them take um, taxi around Heathrow and of course using JetBlue. I know they're at Gatwick as well. Um, still weird seeing JetBlue, but it must be working for them to have two services now um, for it to be working. It's quite a lot of United's in it on this update. So um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird, weird time for United. They've really expanded over the new, during this new winter period. So we have a United 7879. This aircraft's just been catered and cleaned. Uh, it's also been in for a little bit. So this aircraft uh, arrived in from Washington Dolls and it departs out to San Francisco. Next to that, just texting out, we've got a Qantas 787 in the Dreaming Livery. I'm not going to try and pronounce it because I, that's going to fail completely. Um, this aircraft is heading to, it says Melbourne, but I think it's probably Darwin or Perth or something like that. Somewhere in Australia anyway, um, for the Qantas. Nice to see them back in the updates. EasyJet A320, so this is the first custom we're going to cover. Uh, this EasyJet A320 is a EasyJet Europe uh, model and it's being operated for EasyJet UK due to some uh, crew requirements and it's operating just the, uh, the Belfast rotation so this aircraft is actually based out in Belfast. Uh, this aircraft is for sale, uh, this aircraft's on eBay at the moment. Um, I'm trying to, if um, if you kind of message us, if you win the bid, uh, if you message us on Instagram or my email, uh, or even message me on YouTube, uh, we can get in contact then. Um, or just comment that you'd be interested in the model. Uh, please feel free to give, drop a comment in there. Um, yeah, it's up for sale. I think it ends today. So uh, yeah, please be quick with that one. Uh, this other custom is, I've had this kind of a New Zealand uh, donor model sitting around for probably a good few years now and never used it always needed to paint it and whatever so I was like right I'm finally going to do it um, so yeah I've made a United Star Alliance 767 so this one will also be for sale uh, let's give you a little quick overview I think they generally look 
pretty good, especially like through the camera. Uh, in person, then you might be able to see a little bit more detail, not detail, but a bit more of the the lining of the decal as such. Uh, but definitely on camera, you can't really see anything. Uh, really happy with how this one's come out. Uh, it's something a bit different. So yeah, that's also for sale. So any, anything that's for sale, just send me a private message um, or I'll check out the description. I've got my other Instagram links uh, in there. Um, for you to check out yeah this so this united 76 is operating chicago just arriving in we got the united 787-10 this aircraft's operating uh, so it's operating the los angeles route today then we have a easyjet a320 neo this aircraft is so it arrived in from alicante and is departing out to tenerife uh, what way to go now? Right, let's go back up to the Emirates, I think. Right, Emirates 777 operating Dubai, uh, just being fueled, uh, final bits are cleaning and then we'll start loading soon. Then another custom, we have the Delta 767-400, this is in the Sky Team, really, really happy with how this one's come out. Uh, I think the paint I managed to get for the uh, Sky Team Silver. Like an absolute dream. This aircraft's operating Atlanta. Um, once again, this one is for sale. Um, I would keep it because then I've got kind of a couple special livery 764s and then a normal livery, but also I think I might as well show that up because I'm so happy with how that's that does look really good. I do like the Sky Team livery, uh, I think they look pretty smart. And definitely my 764 is a bit, a bit weird. Right. Ryanair 737 MAX from um, Aircraft Model Store. Don't like the brand or anything. I think it's a JC Wings maybe. Uh, a little bit of a delay going on here. Uh, just trying to round up a couple passengers. Uh, this aircraft's going out to Dublin uh, for Friday. Weekend flight, so normally a bit rowdy. Uh, just waiting for push. Uh, once again, once those passengers are on board, they'll uh, get pushed out of the way because there's an inbound coming for the stand. So it's pretty much on the uh, final, final call. If they don't turn up soon, they're uh, not going to go. Right, so we have a Virgin A330. This aircraft it arrived in from Barbados and will be heading out to St. Lucia in the final stages of boarding. I don't know where the um, bit of a hole in the terminal, I don't know where the jet bridge kind of hold a bit's gone uh, for that one, but I'll have a look at that when um, I get the time. Right, onto the short haul cargo bit. So we have a Scandinavian A320 Neo uh, doing Oslo today. Is that Oslo? Yeah, Oslo at this time. Air English UK, A321 Neo. Uh, once again, final stages of boarding and that's going out to JFK. Lufthansa, A321 Neo, uh, going to Frankfurt. And a 2E737-800, uh, just being cleaned and catered. And that will be going, this is on kind of a winter hop. Or winter rotation it comes in, comes and goes to um, Shambury, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not, not really too sure. Right, on to remote stands. On remote, we've got the Emirates A350 uh, that arrives in dead early in the morning and departs kind of actually not too far away in a few hours' time, about three, four o'clock. Uh, not a too long layover, but it has to be towed out to uh, make the stand available. Down for the day, this is the day where um, UPS have an aircraft down, so there's a UPS 767. Um, it's meant to be a 75, but I realise I don't have a 75, uh, so I might have to try and acquire one, because the 76 of course takes up a bit more, um, more of a stand rather than the, how big the 75 is. Um, yeah, that's uh, down for the day, and that doesn't depart to uh, kind of later this evening, I think to Louisville or something like that. Then, my final custom, I think, yep, final custom, I've got my own Flyv Dash 8 Q400, uh, and I know Gemini released theirs, but I was already kind of making this model when they announced it, uh, so I thought I'd continue with making the Flyv, and I've just got my own and saved myself the money, really. Um, once again, I've painted it all, oh, I've painted the tail and painted the engines, um, kind of the other bits with decals, as you'd expect. Uh, Happy with the outcome, do think it looks quite nice. 
Uh, it's quite weird having Flyby back, but yeah, that's um, this aircraft just arrived in from Belfast. There's a uh, two Flyby routes, um, a day Belfast and Yuki. Yeah, happy with that one. I think it looks quite good. Nice up there, Flyby. I'll be Gemini, so. Every time I hit this, the last build. Right, homie stretch. Got a Qatar 787-9 that's playing for the Ryanair stand, uh, so it might kind of make its bit way a bit more around the corner because uh, the Americans due out soon. Um, but yeah, that's arrived in from Doha. Iceland Air land for push. Uh, that's just um, waiting for the Qatar to go past, and that's heading back out to Keflavik. American 777-300. As I said, this one is uh, nearly at the final stages of boarding again. Um, and that arrived in from JFK earlier and departs out to Miami. Virgin 789, uh, final stages of deboarding. Uh, last bag just coming off, and uh, then the turnaround will begin. It's quite a long turnaround. Uh, arrives in from JFK and departs out to Los Angeles. Behind that, First feature of this model, China Eastern 777-300, uh, just arriving in from Shanghai and is down uh, for a couple of hours before heading back out to Shanghai. Uh, I'm not still not too sure whether he's had passengers on or not, um, so it's just kind of sitting there. I don't didn't really know what to do with it. I know they didn't have passengers, so I assume they still haven't. Um, but yeah, still take up a gate. Don't really know why I put it in the schedule, but you know, nice to have them on there. Very plain, very boring livery, but oh well, something different. Right, final two, WestJet 787-9 arrived in from Calgary. Uh, once again, bought the boarding just started on that one. Then just waiting for the Arsenal Air stand. We've got the MEA FB21 Neo uh, operating the Beirut route today. Right, that's it for the update. As I said, if you're interested in Eve, any of the uh, customs up for sale, please drop me a message or message in the comments. I'll uh, get in contact with you. Um, if not, have a very good Christmas. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So, uh, yeah, have a very good Christmas, happy holidays and all that malarkey. Um, yeah, adios and goodbye.